So when it comes to safeguarding your digital assets, having a hardware wallet is by far the best way of doing so. In this video, we will be breaking down the Cobalt Vault wallet, which is setting the bar high for the protection of your cryptocurrencies. Look, this thing is made out of solid aerospace aluminum and features such as water resistance, drop resistance, and its self-destruct mechanism. You're about to find out why I'm out with the old and in with the new, coming up now. Is your money working for you, or are you working for money? Welcome to the Crypto Lifestyle, the lifestyle where your money works for you, instead of you working for that money. And on this channel, we educate people on blockchain technology and the implications it has on not only changing lives, but also changing the world. We also cover live stream interviews with CEOs, ICO reviews on blockchain startups, and passive income opportunities in the cryptocurrency space. So if you're new here, definitely consider subscribing. All right, guys, so look, I gotta admit, I am very pumped for this unboxing review of the Cobalt Vault hardware wallet. It just arrived yesterday in the mail, shipped by DHL. The team reached out to me and asked if I would like to do a review on it. So, you know, I mean, I don't normally do a review on every and anything that comes my way. So I visited the website, and after seeing what this thing is capable of doing, I mean, this thing is just an absolute beast. And it was a no-brainer for me to do the review. So look, in a little bit, we will be going over the unique features and benefits, and they are very unique, and um, just crazy stuff that this device could really do. But first, let's unpackage this bad boy and take a look at the aesthetics and the physical appearance of this hardware wallet right now. Okay guys, so let the unboxing begin. As you can see, we do have the Cobalt Box packaging in front of us, and we're gonna take off the lid and see what's inside of this box. Okay, let's put this here, and put this down here. And there you have it. As soon as you open this box, you have this lovely four inch touchscreen display, um, just staring you right in the face, guys. Okay, there's a side profile. Here's the back, and as you can tell, this material here is the aerospace aluminum. Very sturdy, durable feel to it. It also has a built-in camera, and that's for the QR codes. There's no USB cords here, which actually gives it a um, another layer of security, because no data could be intercepted or nothing like that, right? There you go, guys. That's pretty cool. Um, right here, we also have the... Uh, this is the detachable battery. Now, this is for long-term storage. So if you're like me and, you know, you're cold storing your digital assets, one problem that you may encounter, especially with the current hardware wallets on the market is they don't have detachable battery packs. And why is that important? Because if anything was to go wrong with the actual battery, guess what? You got to replace the entire unit. So that um, definitely this here addresses those issues, which I love. There you have it. It goes in like a gem, like a glove, easy fit. Okay, what else we got down here? Let's take this off. Wow. Is this what I think it is? Of course it is. This right here, guys, is to save your private keys, your recovery seed, whatever you like to call it. Okay, it is also made out of the same aerospace aluminum. Hey, you want to go to the moon? You want to go to outer space? You can take this with you and everything will be fine. Okay, not even the harsh conditions that the universe has to offer will be able to destruct this um, device. Okay, pretty cool stuff. I love this. That's cool because, once again, the current hardware devices on the market, guess what they have for us? All they got is a paper and we write our private keys on that paper with a pen, so water falls on it, it could smudge out the pen, uh, sorry, it could smudge out the ink, or it could actually destroy the the um, the paper that we're storing our private keys on. Not good, that's not a good situation to be in, okay? So let's move on to this right here, which looks like the stand, okay? This is the battery stand, okay? And it does have a input for this cord. And I know I said there is no USB cord, but which there isn't. There only is a charging cord, okay? So this will go inside here, OK? 
Okay, right there as you can see. And this will go into any adapter which goes into the um, the outlet on the wall. Okay, guys. So there you go. This bad boy. Now you're probably wondering why is it called the Kobo Vault? Well, bada bing, bada boom, bada bing, bada boom. That's why it's called a Kobo Vault because they give you a damn vault. Okay, clear cut up front, point blank. I hope you get the point. Um, so pretty much, this will work like this. Go like this, take the device, okay, oh, let me take off the battery first, slides off very nicely, put that in there, probably put this, which way would this go, let me see, like that, yep, just like so, then you close it, guys. This is your mobile vault, cold storage mobile vault, so to speak, okay? Pretty damn impressive. And now, once you have your device in here, there's a number of different benefits it has, okay? And we will go through those benefits. So, you know, once you have the protective case, the Cobalt Vault meets standards. Certain standards like, obviously, drop resistance. You could drop this and everything will be fine. Your device wouldn't break, nothing like that. That's how sturdy and strong this case is, okay? Let's give it a little test there with some. I didn't lock it properly, but I mean, you guys see what, you know, it's pretty sturdy. Also, it will meet vibration resistant standards. Okay, so you can go like this, shake it up, shake it up. Nothing's moving in there, okay? It's pretty, it's just intact. Also, the touchscreen display has high temperature storage. So let me uh, just pop this open like that. Get this out. This device, guys, okay, it also has high temperature storage. So what that means is, you know, in Canada, it gets really hot in the summer. So my device that I use right now, the hardware device that I use, it's not really great for that because it does get slow and laggy, right, in high heat and also in low temperatures in the winter. So this addresses all of that. Okay, guys, it also has low temperature storage capabilities. It can operate in low temperature. Um, anything with temperature shock, fog resistance, it's all pretty damn cool stuff here. We've never seen this before. Um, now, with the Cobalt Vault, not only in the protective case, but the Cobalt Vault meets all the standards um, that I just mentioned to, um, I, obviously, except for the drop resistance and, um, you know, due to the glass, right? If you're going to drop this, no matter what, it's glass. Okay, glass would crack, but once it's inside there, the drop resistance is intact and everything else I just mentioned without the case. So that's pretty cool stuff there. Water resistance, this copper vault meets the IP68 for water resistance, meaning it can be submerged um, for 30 minutes, guys, okay? This can be dropped in water for thir up to 30 minutes um, to a depth of 1.2 meters, okay? And hey, that brings me to my question of the day. The question of the day is this. That's right, I am strongly considering testing out the water resistant aspect of this wallet. Please leave your comment in the comment section below and let me know if you think I should submerge this device in water for 30 minutes at the depth of 1.2 meters. And they do offer a very cool feature called self-destruct. So this is like a spy level features, um, which is the self-destruct mechanism. So uh, you will notice that there are no points of entry, right? If you look at this device, okay? There's no points of entry, okay? There isn't. That's the power button. Okay, that's the slip in the, the uh, detachable battery, the camera, right? There's no inputs here, right? Okay, that's very important. Now, since they have no point of entry, on the Cova Vault and the body is made of a unibody aerospace metal, guys. If a hacker, say, wanted to access the encryption chip by physically trying to take your device, okay, your Cova Vault, or trying to cut it open, they have this um, technology that will self-destruct, okay? It's a mechanism, and it will delete all the private keys and encryption chips um, to keep it out of the hands of the hackers, guys. So if even if they physically get your device, they can't do nothing. 
those other hardware devices on the markets cannot say the same. Now, there is something called a hidden vault feature that the, the team behind the Kobo vault has created. Now, they have created a PowerFace protected hidden vault, which enables us to pretty much create a secret hidden vault that can only be accessed through a backdoor entrance. Okay, guys, very, very innovative stuff, very disruptive features here for the hardware wallet department. Now, look, I will make a separate review on this in the near future, along with the software and the user interface aspect of this wallet. Um, you know, I can't cover everything in this review and this is only just the unboxing review guys so stay tuned for that and um hey guys do leave your comments in the comment section below and let me know what you think of this device of this wallet um do you like it do you don't and also do answer my question of the day okay guys i hope this review helped you get a better understanding of the Cobalt vault wallet and until the next video you're on your own later wherever i go just goes with me, crypto life is the life I lead.